to another episode of Cooking with Lawn. And today we are making a warm, buttery, rich apple crisp paired with haagen vanilla bean ice cream. It's gonna be so delicious and perfect for your holidays that are coming up. If you guys are thinking about making desserts, then this is a winner. And I kind of like it because, I mean, compared to other desserts, it doesn't have um, like that much fatty stuff in it, I guess. It's really just like apples, oats, and like sugar. So I feel like compared to the other things like sweet potato pie and um, like the different type of stuff with the crust and even like apple pie, I feel like it's kind of a healthier version if that's what we want to call it. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, Today, I am making an apple crisp just for myself. I'm here by myself, so um, it's going to just be for one person. So I'm only using one apple. I recommend using like one to one and a quarter apples per person that you're trying to serve because this is actually plenty and you'll see once it's finished in the end um, how much this actually comes out to me. So I am starting out, I think this is a, this is a red delicious apple. I'm going to cut off the ends. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and start peeling the skin off of my apple. Now this would be much easier if you if I had an apple peeler um, or a vegetable peeler. So if you have one of those, just go ahead and use it and it'll make time just fly by so fast. And what I really like about apple crisp is that it's such an easy dessert to make and it takes literally seconds. So if you're one of those people who just feels like, you know, you don't really know how to cook or you're not that great in the kitchen, this is something that even like a child could do or a child could help you out with. So, you know, this could be your go-to if you want to bring something to the family dinner. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut it in half to get the seeds out. An apple corer that just like cuts it already into slices, then that'll be perfect for you. Next, I'm going to go ahead and chop these into bite-sized pieces. You want these to be about like a quarter to, yeah, about a quarter inch thick um, cubes because again, you don't want people biting on big chunks of apple i mean it is okay because it's apple and it's going to cook down and it's going to be soft but you don't want them to be too big so i'm just going to cut these into like quarter inch pieces and that way they'll cook up faster as well if you cut them a little bit smaller and this is good for apples that you have that are just like starting to brown um, because they bake anyway and turn brown. So if you have any like fruit that's going bad, you can also throw it in here right with it. If you wanna do like a peach crisp or um, like an apple plum pear crisp, you can get so creative with this dish. So here are the apples and you can see how small I've um, chopped them up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pop these into the bowl, but I'm gonna spray it with some Pam first, just so that they don't stick and go ahead and put these in the bottom of the bowl. And this is an oven friendly bowl, of course. All right, to start out on our crisps, the first thing I'm gonna do is add um, about a tablespoon of butter to a bowl to go ahead and get this melted. So I'm gonna pop this into the microwave for about 30 seconds. And while that is back there melting, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of my ingredients. So depending on how sweet your apples are, go ahead and try one. Mm. This is really sweet. So I'm just adding a little bit of sugar for extra sweetness. And you wanna make sure you do that ahead of time because hear my butter popping <clears throat> I want you want to make sure that you do that ahead of time because if your um, apples aren't sweet sometimes they're very tangy um, then you want to add that sugar in there to like I said give it extra sweetness so our butter is melted down so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the apples I'm also going to add um, some cinnamon and cornstarch. Now, of course, the cinnamon is going to give it flavor, and then the cornstarch is going to make sure that all the juices from the apples turn into a nice, like, goopy, gooey, sticky sauce. 
So I'm gonna add those in as well. Go ahead and get all of that in there. Mm, this is gonna be so good. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is add in a little bit of vanilla extract. And that's why I said we're gonna use that cornstarch because the cornstarch will really bind all of these juices that we're adding in, like the melted butter, like the vanilla extract. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add in a bit of lemon juice. And the lemon juice is just gonna break up all the sweetness and just give it a little bit of acidity. There we go. There we go. It already looks and smells just heavenly. We got the cinnamon going, we got the apples going. I can smell that lemon juice and the um, vanilla, vanilla extract. It's really looking good right now. This is the most important step. We're gonna take this apple crisp topping that I have, and I don't really even know what this topping is made out of. I think it's like, Oh, it says sugar, flour, oats, spice, and a little bit of butter flavor. So it's kind of like a powdery substance. I'm gonna mix this substance with some oats, some more oats to give it texture. This is pretty much like sweetness, um, but I'm gonna also take, this is just a packet of apples and cinnamon um, Quaker oatmeal. And I like using this kind because it already has um, apples in the oatmeal. So I'm just gonna use this and mix this around with my hands to combine the oats and then the um, apple crisp topping. I'm just gonna combine all of this. And like I said, you can eyeball this depending on how many people you're cooking for. I know that I like a lot of crisp topping so i know i'm going to add a lot and sometimes you can add it to the bottom as well the top and the bottom but i'm just going to add it to the top and then i am going to bring my apples back over and just sprinkle this crisp topping all over the top and when this when this cooks down y'all it's going to be so tasty and so delicious it just I don't know, it's so sweet. And the very last thing we need to do to, before this crisp goes in the oven is put butter on top. Now the butter is very, very important because um, the butter is what, how can I say this? So the butter on top will act with the apple crisp mixture as well as the, um, the oatmeal, the oats that I put in there, and it'll help the flour actually rise so that the topping isn't just like powdery and floury like how it is right now. It'll actually, um, huh, it'll have the texture of like a muffin, like not a muffin, but I don't know, you guys will get the gist. I'll, sh I'll show you guys after it comes out of the oven, of course, so that you can see what I mean, and I'll show you a before and after. Um, but the butter is very, very important, and it may look like it's a lot of butter on here, but that's exactly what you need so that it can um, help the flour and the oats kind of cook. So this is what I mean, you wanna cover that entire top with butter um, because if you don't if any of the butter doesn't melt down into the flour or the oats it's actually not going to cook and it's going to stay um, like that powdery substance and that is not what we want the very last thing we're going to do is put this beautiful crisp in the oven it's going to go in a 375 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the um, the top is nice and brown and you can see the sides are bubbling up and it's no longer um juicy but the um the apple should be nice and thick and the sauce should be just gooey and thick and delicious and then when it comes out y'all we're going to put a dollop of ice cream next to it and dig in so i'll see you back in 25 to 30 minutes Our crisp just came out of the oven and just look how beautiful this looks. It was like bubbling all around the sides, but I have it out for a few minutes while I'm um, letting it cool down because this stuff is piping hot. It will literally burn a hole in your mouth. But um, I just wanted to show you how golden crisp this topping is. So you see those little white flakes? It's just a few here and there. It's not that bad, um, but that's why it's so important to cover 
um, the top of the crisp with butter because those are little spots that the butter didn't like melt down to. And as you can see, they're just gonna be a tad bit, um, like they're just a little bit more um, uncooked than the rest of the topping. But like I said, it's completely fine, but just try to cover the top with as much butter as you possibly can. So yeah, I'm gonna let this cool down for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna plate it up. Our apple crisp just came out of the oven. It's cooled down a little bit, um, but I still want it to be nice and warm so that that ice cream can just melt down the sides of it. So I'm just gonna take um, a nice big scoop of this and I already got my bowl ready. I'm just, oh my gosh, y'all. If y'all could smell this crisp right now. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Mm, let me just get a little bit more. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. And then I got my Haagen Dazs vanilla ice cream right here. Mm. And we are just going to put this on top. Fun fact, I really don't like ice cream with like hot desserts um, or ice cream with desserts period, but I'm literally doing this for y'all <laughs> because I know so many people have their dessert with ice cream. I'm just not one of those people. Let me just put this, mm, this looks so delicious. Mm. And once that ice cream kind of melts down over this crisps, y'all, let me just, mm. I'm gonna do a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. Just for aesthetics. Yes. 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 Whew, I am so ready to try this. It's been smelling so good while it's been cooking in the oven and I cannot wait to dig in. I'm gonna get some ice cream, some apple, some of the topping. Mm. Mm. I have to blow it cause it's so hot. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Wow. I ate this whole bowl. <laughs> the apples are just sweet enough and then that sugar that we added in didn't take it over the top. The ice cream is amazing. That little bit of garnish of cinnamon that I added on top. If you want something simple and easy to cook, this is it. It requires little to no ingredients and it's really also um, inexpensive to make. So this is perfect. And it just brings back memories of the holidays and the fall. I love that this is like the perfect little size just for me. But it's also, I mean, it's plenty still left in here. This could really feed two people. So that's why I said you really only need to do like one apple per person because it's more than enough. But that completes this episode of Cooking with Lawn. I hope you guys enjoyed this special dessert version. And I hope that you guys remake this for one of the holidays coming up for your families to enjoy. If you do, make sure that you use the hashtag Cooking with Lawn. And then you can always send me a DM. I Like I said, I received so many DMs of things that you guys remake. And I can't wait to see how you guys remake this. I am so glad that you guys tuned in for another episode. And I will see you guys next week, same time same place, different recipe. Bye guys.